Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our next meme tier Monday deck We got a cloud drinker gem combo deck We're gonna be playing a lot of spells a lot of burst spells We're gonna be playing a Lee Sin deck where we have our top end being cloud drinker Where if we have this in play then all of our burst spells cost one less So we're gonna want to be playing a lot of burst spells They'll all cost one less, and that's important with Shards of the Mountain with gems. So we can have Shards of the Mountain fill our hand up with gems. Maybe we get six or seven of them, something like that. And they'll all cost zero mana if we have a Cloud Drinker in play. So that's kind of the plan, is to have like Lee Sin in play and Cloud Drinker in play, and then cast Shards of the Mountain, get like six or seven gems or whatever, and then we can put them all on Lee Sin, which will of course level up Lee Sin, and then we'll be able to Dragon's Rage the enemy, and so maybe we put... You know, six of them on, on here, so then we have a 10 power Lee Sin at Dragon's Raging. Um, so that's pretty sweet. So that's kind of what our deck's going to be doing. Uh, we also have two Zenith Blade in here to be able to give the Lee Sin Overwhelm, so it can double its damage. Um, and then besides that, we basically have a lot of kind of defensive things, card draw, a lot of game stall besides that. Claws of the Dragon and Eye of the Dragon being our early stuff, and then a lot of burst spells, right? Like all these burst spells will cost less mana if we have a Cloud Drinker in play. Um, Priestess is just an awesome Invoke card. Same with Star Shaping, so we can get some more Invoke, and of course Star Shaping is Burst. Deep Meditation for some card draw, and then Interaction with Will of Ionia, Deny, and Concussive Palm. All right, so that's our deck. Let's see how it does. Let's get some Cloud Drinker gems going. Uh, we're gonna be playing this deck over in Normal. That's what we do here on Meme Tier Monday. And let's see how we do. Okay, we got Leona and Diana. Usually going to be an invoke deck. That's, that's what I'm thinking that we're going to be playing against here. Let's mulligan these cards to start with. I'm going to keep the Cloud Drinker. It's an important part of our deck. We're going to keep that. All right, cool. We got a Claws of the Dragon to go down early. And some more card draw. Looks just fine. Perfect. We always want to find Lee Sin. And we don't need to play anything right away. Like, we don't need to just cast hard cast Claws of the Dragon, because it's going to be coming into play as soon as we just play our two spells. Harvey, what you doing? What you doing, girl? Solari Priestess, that's a good one. I wish we had Solari Priestess. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. All right, just going to just going to cast Concussive Palm because I don't want to waste all of my mana and, and everything. So we'll just play that. All right, pass turn. All right, so Lisa in time. The dragon himself. The dawn has arrived. With its light, the Solari will unite the heavens. Okay, so we're going to give the plus two, plus one over to this um, tail of the dragon so that it will be the thing that will be stunned by Leona. So now we'll be able to challenge with Lee Sin. Um, really the only thing to challenge and to get out of here is probably this one, two. I don't really want to challenge the three, two. But still, get to kill that. Ooh, that's a good card. Alright, they've had quite a daybreak hand. Let's go with the Solari Priestess. Which I can just use the Solari Priestess just to block. Okay, probably gonna obliterate an enemy. That sounds good. Devotion to battle. Feel the sun's glory. I will not hold back. You cannot win. Back heretic. I don't know if I need to block Leona or not. I need to throw away the Solari Priestess. It is good to clear up just clear up space when we have cards like Eye of the Dragon and Claws of the Dragon though. Is 
It's a tough call of what to do. I guess I just obliterate Leona. I don't know, maybe not. Because uh, they could just have Bastion. Patience is underrated. We're a Cloud Drinker deck. Let's get our Cloud Drinkers in play. Start making these things cost like no mana. These Guiding Touches. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. The sun's splendor revealed. I don't I don't know what a hostage deck is, Soul Raider. I don't know what that is. Calm mind and open heart, Oh, oh, y'all are talking about okay, casting infinite hush with Cloud Drinker. Okay. Take action. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Ryler. Troll Chant is so good in that Ash deck. That's a that's a big upgrade for sure. Okay, yeah, so you can't do can't do infinite hush anymore. So Leona's morning light. That will stun it. Two things, if I let it. So I guess I need to do this Will of Ionia and just bounce the Leona so it doesn't stun my thing so I can block. I will also be able to play a Guiding Touch and put Claws of the Dragon in for free if I so choose. You can cast Eye of the Dragon first though. And that will also give the Lee Sin a barrier. The moon approaches her zenith. May her silver light enshroud us. I'll just pass so they don't know about that whenever they're making their decisions on attacking and with Serpent and everything. For truth. Okay, so they're not going to be attacking with much else. Um, I think, I, I guess I just Guiding Touch myself here. So I don't think... Yeah, like, we could heal the Lee Sin, but the Lee Sin's gonna have the barrier anyway. Alright, so maybe we should've just done that, because we're gonna get Draggling that's going to heal Nexus. Maybe we should've just gone with the Lee Sin. Alright, but anyway, we got Shards of the Mountain. Now we have this combo. If they play Leona... Let's see, so, okay, so we would get five gems right now. Let's make it, let's play this to, you know, get another thing out of hand. So we have six gems. Because that just stuns the Cloud Drinker. Not the Lee Sin. Okay, so we should be able to take out this Leona. Let's go. And do what, like 10 damage to them? I could put one gem on my Draggling. I want to make sure that I go back up to 20 life. It's all in the mind. Cool, we'll have Bastion for next turn. Sight firm. Prepare yourself. Perfect. Good ten damage. If only we had this if we had the Zenith Blade also, that would have been game. But remember their last priority, how the Cloud Drinker was bigger and it stunned the Cloud Drinker instead? Alright, have a good night, Soul Raider.
cool. I'll see this through. One mana deep meditation. Conflict is all in the mind. Conflict is all in the mind. All right, so we have the barrier, and then we also have Bastion for one mana. So I, I would assume that I would eat the spell shield and not the barrier. Yeah, and that's barrier right there. All right, well, this is pretty nice being able to play everything for such little amounts of mana. Oh, I guess I need to save that, didn't I? Probably should have saved that. So there's an infinite combo with two Zephyr Sages. Right, well, like Zephyr Sages can just go infinite. So you do two of those, and then Trundle, Pillar, Revitalizing Roar, and two Monks. So what? <laughs> you need... Trundle, Pillar, Revitalizing Roar, and two Monks? What, what Monk? What, solitary Monk? Um, yeah, I mean, they can, they can do this. That doesn't... Doesn't affect my ability to win. So what's what's the infinite what's the point of that infinite combo? Now you're cool. Dustbringer, you're not cool. You were misguided. So are you trying to Yeah, I guess what's the point? I thank you, oh. Dragon. So we got the deep deck. We just mulligan the hand. There we go. Look for Lee Sin, Cloud Drinker, that kind of stuff. Need to make sure we can find them. Yeah, we had other good support cards, like the Zenith Blade goes great with the Lee Sin, for example. But we do need to make sure that we do find the Lee Sin. Oh, I'm sorry, Mafia Plot. Yeah, no, we, we did it. We did the Lee Sin kick. My opponent let us do it, didn't concede. I'm sorry you got glitched out there. Hey, what's up, Quitter? Thanks, welcome to the stream. So, Lari Priestess. Eh. I'll take... I'll take this Radiant Stars in case we need it. In case something happens to our first Lee Sin. Plus, it's, it's a burst spell, so it costs less with Cloud Drinker, so that's cool. So we can kill Maokai with Hellcast Cade. Yeah, so I guess we just go heal. I will not hold back. Man, paying two mana for these cards is so much mana. I like having that. Um, I like having this Cloud Drinker in play. And not having to spend all that mana. All two of it. Alright, we will deny. So they're just playing regular old Riptide. Not even Riptide Rex. Not even Nautilus's Riptide. Just plain old Riptide. Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. Deep Meditations cost three mana this turn. But we're playing Cloud Drinker. So sorry, Deep Meditation. You playing Cloud Drinker. And they'll be they'll go back to five mana, aka four mana. 
It'll be worth it. I will tend this garden. Man, Lee Sin's champion spell with Cloud Drinker costs one total mana to play both parts. So that's pretty cool. All right, well, they've had a gray hand triple dredge dredgers means that triple dredge dredgers double maokai means they really toss through their deck super fast. Um, sure, whatever. I don't want to kill anything, right? Because then it, by killing stuff, then they don't have room. Like, they have to play a unit. They don't have room to get their 2-1. But I guess I probably need to kill maokai right now anyway. Oh, I want to play Solari Priestess first. And then they get to toss two. Okay, so if I play Solari Priestess, I still have four mana, so I can still go Hush, Guiding Touch, and Pale Cascade. So if they have the six mana, seven, seven, we're still good. Okay. Patience is underrated. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. I will not hold back. And I'm guiding touching the Lee Sin. You've been in my thoughts. Because of Devour Dups, basically. This Cloud Drinker is pretty sweet. Yeah, we'd still have Bastion available if they would go Vengeance. Now Deep Meditation is about to cost two mana. Back to where it was originally whenever they printed that card. Okay, so do I use Bastion or Hush? I can use either one. I think Hush. Some cards. Is all in the mind. Conflict is all in the mind. Ooh. All right, falling comet, the Nautilus. Get that thing out of here. Level up, Lee Sin. This Cloud Drinker is looking good. We're saving a bunch of mana. Alright, Zenith Blade time. <laughs> yeah. Buffing up Hush. I will not yeah. Bastion at 2 mana, like granting an ally plus 1 plus 1 and a spell shield at 2 mana. That is silly. My lands need me. Prepare yourself. I don't know, they pass. Do I pass back? No, probably not. Let's see, Deep Meditation, just draw a couple cards. See what's up. I'll just do this. We'll just do 10, or I guess 9. Or no, 10. <laughs> Why is it called a donation deck? You can get it for free. I mean, you don't get it for free. You can you can use, you can donate your channel points for it. But, you know, you have to be somebody who is here watching a bunch and stuff. Dang. I'll see this through. These have so many good cards to play. Uh, do I behold a celestial card? Yes, I do. Written in stars. Good thing I didn't play written in stars. That does cost nine mana. I can't stop it from costing nine mana. Yes, another cloud drinker. Yes. I just like this little symbol that Cloud Drinker has, too. I guess it's to show you that it does something. So I'm going to play another Cloud Drinker. Me. Me? We best friends now. 
All right, so if I do the obliterate two enemies, then I don't have Bastion available, so they could have Atrocity and kill my Lee Sin. But even if they have that, I have Rain and Stars for a new Lee Sin, so actually I guess that's not even that bad. Yeah, I just want to try to obliterate this Nautilus. We've already we have gotten rid of one Nautilus with an obliterate. This would be a second Nautilus. Down. And there we go, two Nautilus down. That'll do. I kind of wanted them to atrocity my Lee Sin and so that we could use Ridden Stars to get new Lee Sin. And... All right, so a bunch of Demacia cards. This is kind of scary. They could run us over. All right, we, we have our early thing. We got our two most important cards with Lee Sin and Cloud Drinker. Our early blocker, we have a good defensive card with Concussive Palm. So pretty decent hand. We'll keep it. Looking for more cheap spells. It's dangerous out there. Take this. Cheap spells to help Lee Sin. It's a Bastion, I guess. Clear your head. So I was thinking, I could attack with the Eye of the Dragon, and then if they block, I go Bastion. Uh, but it's probably just not even worth it. I'm just going to cast the Claws of the Dragon, even though I normally don't cast that card. But we are going to waste the two mana anyway. So if, we're, if that two mana is going to be wasted and just go away, you might as well just play it. That's what I'm thinking there. Is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, Master. Alright, we're going to need to try to take out this Battlesmith. So let's... Let's cast Bastion. Conflict to start with. I'll see this through. Strike firm. Prepare yourself. I don't know. I like like getting a couple spells. I like getting this this thing. Just have the spell shield. I didn't want to lead with Pale Cascade. I could, guess I could have just cast Star Shaping. Give a challenger, but then it's taking damage. This is fine. New recruit reporting in. We got the two spells now for the draggling for a blocker. That's important. Breathe in, breathe out. For the glory of Demacia. Mm. I don't know if I need a concussive palm yet. If I do concussive palm. Yeah, I guess we'd be looking pretty good if we do Concussive Palm. I just want to play Cloud Drinker. I guess next turn. Patience is underrated. Now this allows me to have another barrier for Lee Sin when Lee Sin's blocking. Do not have a good attack. Steel. Or they do. I will not hold back. You act, but do not see. So this is three things dying. Injustice. So can they play for the fallen? Maybe. No. Maybe I don't let. Maybe I don't have one of those things die. I'm not too used to playing against For the Fallen, I will admit. Cloud Drinker. Our enemies cannot hide. I will not hold back. Alright, so still doing two spells. Your Take out both of those. Gave my and gain four life. That's so nice being able to do that, that Lee Sin thing for only one mana instead of three. An 
a long path to uh -oh. But I do want to play Solari Priestess this turn. But yeah, we're gonna have to. Hmm. No, okay, yeah, let's just play the Priestess. We're good. Uh, both these are just fine. Like Go Golden Sister, Traveler, both those are just fine. Traveler, I guess. Nothing wrong with either one. Good attack by putting the Scythria first. That was that's a good attack. Conflict is all in the mind. Man. <laughs> Guess I should have done that. Nope, wrong one. Sorry. You. Act free of doubt. Okay. I will not hold back. I fight with the dragon's fury. Yeah, okay, that just goes back to a four mana three three. Difficult to play that thing. All right, GGs. That was a pretty good show in there for Lee Sin. And Cloud Drinker making all those spells cost less. Pretty good show in there. Hmm. All right, this deck could definitely atrocity me to death. Don't want to see that. All right, we're going to just mulligan all these. I, I, I like Solar Priestess a whole lot, but I went to uh, look for Lee Sin. Look for Lee Sin, look for Cloud Drinker. There we go. And then look for ways to protect Lee Sin, Bastion, and Deny. All right, looks like this is... A Solari Priestess game. Let's keep getting the Falling Comet. We need to obliterate Trundles and Trindamirs. It's a bad block. They should take the one damage. Should not make that block when I'm playing Lee Sin. Master yourself. Master your enemy. Um... Kind of annoying that I don't really want to lead off with any of these spells. Sunlight guided, my brethren. These are trolls. So I bounce that. Because I need to give this. Challenger, need to play a spell. Conflict is all in the mind. Prepare yourself. Does allow them to get more ice pillars. Okay, they learned. Good, good. Trolls are going to war. Obliterated. I will not hold back. Could preemptive the bastion. If I just go bastion right here, challenge, we get to kill the O4. I'm not sure if we're at the point of the game where killing that O4 is that important, though. I don't really want to preemptive Bastion. I don't want them to know about it and be able to play around it and everything. You know, like if they just go Ruination. Right here, I'd want them to do that. Still just go Ruination. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's just how it is, though. All right. I'll see this through. My spirit. Center your spirit. 
<laughs> Sorry, Kordak. Hmm. Okay. We already got rid of one of those, didn't we? Yeah, that's a new one. Well, that's definitely unfortunate. Need one more mana to have that Bastion save. That is terrible for me. Oh wait, I can deny that. Okay, good. I said that's terrible for me because the Traveler, Cloud Drinker, get rid of all those. Yeah, you can, you can eat the one twos. All right, gotta find another lease in. That's the most important thing right now. I guess we could cast a deep meditation. So, okay, so invoke. All right, actually, we're not going to get any obliterate card. So yeah, let's let's just get the cloud drinker in play, and then be able to have two mana deep meditation. Oh, the cloud drinker is going to get vulnerable. Yeah, I didn't go written in stone. I mean, the the obliterate's really important. Like, if I would have gone, if I would have gone written in stone, then they would have been able, you know, then they had that other trundle. I had to obliterate that trundle. Just how that is. I've become who I was always meant to be. I didn't play two spells last turn. I guess not. I have all this mana they're just not using. They're willing just to pass to me and they had War Mother's Call? What are they? Okay, Lee Sin. So I have one Bastion to go along with Lee Sin right now. How many cards in hand? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Darn it, ten cards. That's too many. Beauty charms while claws take hold. All right, so I'm just passing. So they, so they just obliterate. Yeah. So that trend of mirror just gets obliterated because they have, you know, they have too many cards. Follow my blade. So that's what I wanted. Our banner will lead the way. Believe or burn. All right, gonna try to kill this Trindamir so it doesn't come back. Okay, that's fine. Could rehush it, but then it wouldn't. It still wouldn't die because it would just go back to four health. The, my attacker only had three power, so it's still so casting hush again wouldn't kill it.
they're still they still have a full board, so whatever they get here, hopefully it's another Trundle or Trindamir. That's gonna be gone. That's not cool. Calm mind and open heart, greet the night. Yeah, I had to re uh, yeah, I would have had to rehush and then also um cast hush again and then and then also bastion to kill the Trindomir, and I didn't want to do both of those. I can do it if, like, if they don't have vengeance or atrocity, <laughs> I can win by just casting Zenith Blade and Shards of the Mountain. It's possible I should just pass as well, and then again, again, have them burn another, another card. Patience is underrated. The War Mother will unite us all. This will be a slaughter. A slaughter. Avarosans, stand together. Speak truth. Okay. Spring does not pity winter. Conflict is all in the mind. I will not. Are right, given the lease in a barrier. Vile Feast. Probably shouldn't. I shouldn't use the Hush. Yeah, I shouldn't use the Hush. Right then. I shouldn't use the Hush right then. I should have because they were they were definitely going to be doing the Vile Feast thing. Like that was that was absolutely their plan, and my plan was Concussive Palm in response to that. So, because I you can't you you can't play Bastion against Vile Feast. You just can't. By, by you can't. I mean, you can't realistically win the game. You have to have Bastion has to counter Ruination and Vengeance for you to realistically win the game. Well, I guess the problem. Oh, trading with the puppy dog. I don't have. I don't have a Celestial card anymore. That was maybe a mistake on my part. Trading away the puppy dog. For the thrill of battle. All right, they got their last turn to mirror in. No, that doesn't help. Well, now it helps.
I wish we were going to behold another celestial card for the obliterate two enemies. Or, you know, two of these. That's not quite the case. Oh no. Yeah, I know. Game's over. Alright, three and one, that was still a good game. Let's go. go. Alright, Lee Sin Zed. So we got a Lee Sin mirror match. Yeah, hard fought game. We tried, didn't quite get there. The Will of Ionia against Bastion isn't a great thing to have. The spirit gives to yeah, good good answers both times I tried to play my Hushes last game. The second time was an ill-advised attempt at Hush. I really should not have played it whenever I did the second time. It is time. But the first time how they were able to stop my Hush, that was with the troll chant. The troll chant was rough. Alright, and Lee Sin matches, being able to challenge. Speak, that is desirable. Speak, so we're going to take this, the warrior. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Not sure, not sure what I want to do. I guess it's just play Lee Sin. Force is meaningless. They can kill my Lee Sin, though, if they have the thing that gives a challenger. And that's perfectly fine. I'll trade my 1-2 for the Pell Cascade. Gonna hold on to the Lee Sin right now. Not not gonna use it yet. Mm. I don't want to really like just spend them two mana on the guiding touch right then. I am prepared. So it's looking bad for us right now. I think we'll be okay. I will not hold back. Overall. Actually, once we get Cloud Drinker in play, we're going to start doing some pretty awesome stuff. <laughs> yeah. Hush is rough. That's why we're just not playing Venture the Stones. We've kind of found that, like, Venture the Stones, you, um, you know, it's just not pulling its weight. In, in this hush, you know, when a lot of people are playing hush, um, yeah, so just not even not even playing Mentor the Stones and never really miss Mentor the Stones, to be honest. Um, but yeah, there we go. We got to do some really cool stuff there. Cloud Drinker and Elise Sin had some really impressive games. We had that hard fought loss, but we had we had a lot of hard fought wins as well. This was fun to play. Um, you know, we're definitely relying on Elise Sin, but that was cool. That was cool using Cloud Drinker to give us a whole bunch of mana and everything. Um, got to Shards of the Mountain uh, and put a, a Lee Sin up to being 10 power in one turn. That was really cool. So there we go. I think that's a success. Good meme tier Monday deck there with Cloud Drinker Gems. 
Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. What do you want to see next week on Meme Tier Monday? Or, uh, you know, how's this list? How's the other list? You know, whatever you're playing, let me know what you're playing. Um, I'm always interested to hear about that. What are y'all excited about? But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Cloud Drinker Gems, and I'll see you for the next video.